Oh, today I'm going to show you how to source a drop down list from horizontal range, which is a follow up from a previous video that I showed you on dynamic drop down lists. Here in the following, we want to select a, a dynamic drop down list from the highlighted financial metrics. Again, we create a dynamic formula range by defining cell name. We select the EBITDA margin as our first cell. Using the count A function, we're going to source cells horizontally across, which will enable us to insert new values if needs be. By using this drop down list, we can now reference anything in this dashboard by using the index match formula. As so, referencing firstly the y axis, which is Argentina, the vertical values, then the average net profit per call minute, which is the x axis provides us with that $6 per call minute average profit. You can see how this drop down list is able to drive correct values based on these various metrics. In the second example of sourcing from a horizontal range for dynamic drop down list, we're going to do source from range of years as in the following. We're going to make it dynamic, so that means if we need to insert additional years into this dashboard, the drop-down list will be able to dynamically reflect these additional values. Again, we select 2011 as our first cell, and we're going to be copying, referencing across so we can pick up new values. Again, using a dynamic range and defined name, dragging it across, we can see our dynamic drop down list is working. Again, any new values that are inserted into this dynamic range will work. There we have it our dynamic drop down list from a horizontal range.